Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian report for Wednesday, October the 19th and starting with the ASX on the daily chart. We seem to be pushing up here and um, even though this count of uh, an A and a B and a C here for the B wave is a little bit different from the uh, other indices in the US, it's more in line with the... Um, uh, the European indices and also a bit in line with the uh, US banks as well. So it's not an isolated uh, count, but at the same time, we'll, we'll just go step by step and we'll keep an eye on it. But we're expecting it to, you know, have a nice push up in the third wave here. The earnings in the US are going well. Um, overall, they're all positive. Um, Netflix have just had theirs, which is um, uh, also positive as well. Um, so yeah, once that earnings season is finished, then uh, we'll see that turn to the downside at that point. So yeah, we'll just go in this move to the upside. All we can do is go step by step. I've got it as one, two, three, four, five, but uh, we'll just uh, make adjustments on the way. Uh, definitely, basically, in a nutshell, it's... Um, uh, as I've mentioned uh, a while ago, the beginning of this, it's basically uh, long in the banks. Um, and we also mentioned uh, Qantas as well. So those will be there. So this is, you know, from that high to this low here, this is the 50, 60%. So you can expect it to have a bit of, uh, you know, vibration here before it settles in and finds that 6,800 as the support. I don't think it will take too long because if we're looking at this as, well, it can be an A wave here and a B wave, but also one and two. But even besides that, we still have one and two here and one and two here, and then there'll be one and two here. So we'll have a series of third waves that will help us get through that um, that number and also that 50, 60% uh, uh glass ceiling so to speak so that's sort of where we are uh, we can expect this market to continue to push up from this low here we're looking at one and two and then three but the three might it might be okay um or it might be sort of a bit raggedy getting through all of that um but we're but in a nutshell we're looking for uh this wave three here and then we'll need a wave four. So let's just put that wave four in there. And wave five, of course. And then we'll be looking for uh, wave three. Now this wave three, this is where we've got to be in, this is where we have to be careful because we could have this as an A wave, a B wave, and then one, two, three, four, five here for the C wave at that point. So, we need to be this our market started this move up before the other markets so um let's just put this in here so we'll just keep an eye on it and i'll just put this wave c on top here just to scare us a little bit just to remind us that um we'll see how the other markets around the world are going um not so much the us i mean the tech stocks were the ones that i mean when i was, when i think about it um I think about the low volatility stocks in the US, um, the European stocks and the Australian stocks, I'm talking about indices here, they've all been, uh, they've all held up much better than the actual tech stocks. Um, even Bitcoin's held up quite nicely as well compared to the NASDAQ. It's kind of detached itself a little bit from, from that. Um, if you check them both, compare them over the last three or four months, you'll see what's, what I mean by that. Um, anyway, that's the story. So, and the next step along our pathway here is to have that 800 secured as the support. So that in mind will go to the hourly charts. And as I mentioned, it's the banks that are driving this and we're being checking the banks and uh, that's where you need to be long. So um, once we get our new website, we'll be, um, there'll be a couple of different things. We've, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a portfolio module to, um, to do just long stocks, not short, um, but I'm going to, uh, um, fix our old CFD accounting program back up. Um, I'm going to get somebody to work on it. And then in January, uh, a team from Academy X have volunteered to um, give us some UI UX 
um, capabilities with uh, design for for that profit keeper uh, platform for that CFD training thing, and then we'll uh, find some JavaScript React folks to uh, help <clears throat> rebuild that. So um, over the next over the next year, uh, this year we'll be transferring to the new site. Um, uh, so there'll be some portfolios in there and you'll have your own portfolios in there as well and a bit of a social module thing um, but the trades for the ASX won't really come until later um, uh, after all that so they'll be sort of next year but anyway we're heading into that putting trades back out again anyway that's our, our aim um, just want some decent software to do that so um, here um, yeah, we can see we've had that nice push up here because yesterday we were talking about counting this up here and all the indices looking for that top here. I'm not quite sure where to put that top. There's a good case for both both sides here. Um, but the next step here is, uh, you know, there will be some fluffing around to go on, on this uh, eight here before pushing up uh, into that uh, wave three here. So we need to um well this oh actually i need to move these out of the way a little bit i'm just going to in fact i'm just going to put them over oh we're on the hourly chart so they should stay there so we'll put that there and that there we'll put this here and this out the way here and that's okay there so this will be i mean this is wave one here this will be two this will be also wave one in here two here three here so they'll also i don't know how far that's going to go there i'll just we'll do some work on that um because it might get a bit tricky around these old highs here th three four and five for that third so basically we're looking for that third wave here then the fourth wave back here and then the fifth wave up here to make that sort of nice wave three here. So I don't know exactly the prices, but just trying to pull it into a bit of perspective for that at this stage for that. So that shapes it up a little bit. We're also in group two here. So the 800 also involves the 65 and the seven. Or there's lots of other numbers in there <coughs> that are important. But the bottom line here is that it came up here, came back down, you know, it basically found support on that number here, the, the 65 number the lower end of minor group two and now it's building a case to the upside so we can look back up it wants to retest supply at higher levels so that's where we're looking at and on the tick chart 100 ticks just to get in there a little bit further we'll look at 5k enough yes yeah, so we've got that from that low here we've got this wave one here and two here and then Yesterday we were talking about up here, I can't remember, we must have been in here somewhere, I've got some lines drawn in here, but um, so, and we're looking for it to pull back here, so we'll, yeah, so we're looking for it, the, eight, the 800 is always, we always call eight a profit taking number, so, but we can see here we talked about one and two and three and four, we were being around here somewhere, and then, then we're pushing up from that point. Now, I probably have to put wave four back here. I'm wondering, what I'm wondering, I'll have to do a bit of work on what if that's um, probably one, two, three, well, it's probably over here on that high. It does look like five waves there, doesn't it? It's just that this looks like five waves of one, two, three, four, five here for that. And the, I've got this as the A, the B, and the C here. I, I, you know, I, I might need to put this as wave one here or wave one here. I'll just leave it like this for the time being, but I, there's still a little bit of an issue I've got to sort out uh, in here for this. Um, so now the market's moving off quite nicely. So um, obviously that's the third wave that we're looking at there. So with the third wave, it can, um, we'll probably see things like this here without counting it too much, be like this. It'd be something like that. But th this, this support here, uh, you know, I should, it, it can come back, it can come back to, this is subgroup two here. So it can come back to, you know, come in deeper and check that. So if that's, a little third wave there we could take that would be one two three four five so we look at all of that so what i could do is just take that low and that high at this point oh 38.2 percent not too bad it's just in there somewhere so that will play out at the um at around that level so it might not come back as far as i think but just just be mindful i always look at group two so if you're looking at stops 
then stops need to be uh, under here to get through all of that. I, I mean, that's very wide, but um, that that would be safe at that point. Now, I've just got to kind of think this out. I just want to think for a moment here. So, see the other issue that I've got here, if this is all, this could be one and two and th third wave and fourth wave in here, then we're going to have wave one up here and come back for wave two. That's where that's going to get tested. That will be the third wave up there and we want the third wave to be longer than this one here so that can pull there that's just we don't need that now um don't need these guys that's done their job so let's just make some assumptions here let's take it from there and i'm going to take it to 30 here. It might go a bit higher, so I'll take it to 33, 34, 33 is fine. And that will leave us with this area here as the 50-60% retracement level area. So that's where it can come back to. So in a nutshell, we're looking for, without looking at all of that, that would be 6830, 6833 I'll go to 34 is fine, and then come back in a um, corrective move. This is the worst case scenario, basically, that's what I'm thinking. And if that is the case, then that's the safe trade. But you could also buy back in this box here as well because of the structure that we've got here. So we could turn that um, box green to, as a buying zone. <clears throat> and you can use your indicators and all the rest of it, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, but it'll be something like this. I'm just going to remove these now. So the takeaway is that if you want to survive this and if you're long, then you'll need to leave the stop out. Of, you just need to leave the stop out of the way here to get further up that up that way, you know. Um, this here, um, Wednesday's got a bit of a thing of um, being down in the morning and then up in the afternoon and then Thursday can open higher and then uh, trade down for the day and then um, Friday and Monday uh, will be bullish and a bit of profit taking on Tuesday and then the trend resuming again. So the bullish weekly cycle could play out here now that we're sort of in a bullish market. So keep an eye on <clears throat> on that and sort of incorporate that with the uh, with your wave count. Um, I'll double check all of that in here, um, but uh, yeah. yeah, that's wave one here, one, two, three, four, five to that point, right? So we can look at that as, I'll just do that now while we're here for the day traders so they can do that. And this will be, I think there could be one more little top in here for this wave three here. And then there'll be wave four pulling back here and then wave five up here, up into the six, eight, because went to about the 800 here, 10, 20 and 30 is group one. So that will be, <clears throat> probably won't find support on that. It'll test it, but won't find support. Then the ABC back again. So that's what I'm thinking unless this is part of wave one here, but it'll have to be one here, an A and a B and a C for wave two. So it's possible, then that would put an extra thing up here and put a spanner in the works. But um, one, two, three, four, five. So that would have to be, let me just, sorry about this. Looks like it, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, five at that point. So I'm wondering if that's an ABC here because it definitely looks like it's got five waves here, you know? And then we have the ABC here for that. It's not like we've made a new low here. 
If you could count that, see if you can get five or three out of that, has made a new high. That would leave another little move to the upside here, but it st still wouldn't stop it. it. Still, still wouldn't stop it coming back down and checking into that group two. You know, it's just how deep that it goes is the question. So yeah, look, um, just hold all the way, hold all the way through that. Which is um, hold all which, which is just a Bitcoin thing that just means that they spelt uh, um, hold wrong. Um, or the other thing is hang on for dear life. Um, radio so that's that um, so the bank so we know CBA is going to have problems at the at the 100 you know it's going to be like this it's going to be sort of sticky but it will go higher that's the bottom line with it so it's not one of the not not good to trade around large numbers like this most of the time sometimes you get lucky um, you know there of you know, thing but just generally speaking um, it will it's a sticky number you know so we're just going to have a look at the banks as we've been looking at the banks uh, first of all, this is Qantas here. So we looked at this. With, this is a daily chart for Qantas. Let's just get that in the frame, and let's just get uh, get a few other things here working. Get that. I want to keep the I want to keep the codes here so you can see them. But this sideways correction here that I've talked about, which is not really sideways, it's just one, two, three, four, five here. Then the A, the B, and the C wave here. But it's still an accumulation process going sideways here so this accumulation process should match so we should be up at around you know we should be up above the eight dollar mark here if you if you square time with price as as a unit for unit richard wyckoff's work um so that should be you know we'll be up here with the, all of that so this is a good hold this is a good trade okay um yeah, anyway, <clears throat> I won't harp on too much. So the banks, um, Macquarie's will start pushing up from the low here. Now we talked, we had a quick look at that yesterday. We, we know that's corrective, impulsive, corrective, impulsive. So that will continue up. CBA, we know that's sticking around the 100. So nothing to say there. WBC, um, we're looking at these here as, um, as one, two, three, three, four, five to move up there. Um, then they'll pull back um, and we can go long again at the, if you're going long. When these five ways finishes up here, um, and I'm not sure where that, I mean, the next level here for this is, um, if I can just clone this, will be 25. That will be, if I was trading this, then that's the number I would be going for. And we can turn that gray. That's a medium level. Um, any pullback here will sit on the 23. That's the top of minor group one. Um, I should have all these lines sorted out. Um, a and Z. We haven't really paid too much attention to A and Z. It's in the. It will move higher. It's in a. It's in a different. It's in a huge big. You look on the monthly chart and you'll see it's in a big triangle pattern. But I wasn't interested in that. We've been interested in in Ben right from down here, and we've looked at this as one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. So we're kind of at the top of the third there somewhere. There may be another high here, but you can stay there up until nine dollars at least above nine dollars. Um, but we look. It looks like we're getting an impulse wave here, but we can't confirm that yet. We've only got an A and a B and a C. It could be three waves up. <coughs> um, opened higher and traded lower. The NAB was another one here too. Not really struggling to leave here at the moment, but should go should go higher. The BOQ was the one that we were also focused on at the lows down here. So one and two and three and four and five. So they'll push up to eight dollars. So we can look at eight dollars. That's a major trading level. Um, so I'm just going to bring that down here. I want to keep that one on there. The eight dollars here. I better put it. Okay, so that's eight dollars. That's going to hit a brick wall there and pull back. Um, go long again based on that B because this can be an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave and finish up here. You know, but um, it is the banks that are taken things higher 
um, anyway, that's all the banking stuff. Um, so we can move on from that quickly um, over to the resources now, the iron ore market here. So when I look at this iron ore market here, I can see that this move up here is corrective. I can also so far see that this move down here is corrective. So it can be an A and a B wave to here. We could also count this move down as one, two, three here and then four and then five to come down and that would be one and two and three and four and five but i can't sort of prove that just yet it looks like the stochastics wants to see a bounce off that um off that level down here for that so that's possible at this point it's not it doesn't have the 65 number the medium level as the resistance if it does that then we know that we're coming down further but we could get a bounce off here this this could turn out to be anything here um, let's just check out uh, Singapore in terms of um, uh, just wanted to have a look at the finance on the banks again as well yeah so this is the beta shares finance it's not the not the XXJ but it'll be the same so we can see we've always noted that this has been in three waves here and ABC here so we we'll need to take out that top so there's further space to go up there um, it's the same as the material sector of the XMJ here as well. We've also got three waves here, so we're looking for five waves moving up. I don't know how far this will go. We might just get um, one, two, three, four, five up here and then and then collapse. So yeah, I'm a bit unsure about this one, but that's the low and we've got three waves here. So we'll just see how that, I mean, it, it, this could be played out a few different ways, but we should see another push up. It's not all over just yet. Um, so I wanted to have a look at uh, Singapore's uh, iron ore thing here, and it does. The thing that's sort of taking me here is we've got I've got this as an A wave and a B wave here, and it has come down quite low, but it hasn't taken the low out here. So there's still more space for it to come down here. But in terms of counting it down from B to C here, we can look at it as one and two, and then five waves for one and two, and then one, two, three, four, five for the third wave, fourth wave. Um, you know, I can put five waves here to put this third here and fourth here and then fifth here and this would all so yeah I mean I wouldn't turn bullish on this unless it jumped above back above the hundred so it's under the hundred it's but you can see that it's sort of every this is strong here isn't it and then it's all drying up here it's kind of like um you know, there's no there's no interest in this. The sellers are, the sellers are not in control. They're not pushing this down any further. So if this becomes the support here, then we can look at buying iron ore stocks at that point. We could probably do better than that and get it earlier. But this, what I just really wanted to say here, this is really so. This thing here is is diminishing in in. Um, it's diminishing uh get these things working it's sort of you know what i mean it's sort of diminishing to that point and you can see the vibrations you know the ranges in all of this is getting to the point where it can pop you know so i was thinking like do we have a low in here it hasn't made a new low here just yet but anyway we'll keep an eye on that uh so that was that um so a bit unsure about the chinese one uh here uh, we see, nobody really knows what they're, uh, you know, they're having their 20th general meeting and uh, going to make uh, Xi king of uh, whatever that place is. And um, uh, yeah, they don't know any sort of government policies in terms of trade yet, you know, so we don't know. Um, BHP here, uh, we looked at it yesterday. It hasn't made a new low below wave three here. We could call that in as a, as a low. It is possible. It doesn't have to make a new low. Um, it's a bit hard to count that, you know, to really sort of scrutinize it. It could be three waves or five waves. Certainly looks sharp enough to be five waves. Um, so we can look at it as down for one here and ABC back here for two. If that stays in place and it continues to move down, then that would be okay. But at the same time, we can look at this as an A wave, an ABC for the B wave, and then one, two, three, four, five up here for the C wave for four. So I could only go long once that C wave came in here as one, two, three, four, five here. And then we could go along safely above that because anything above that five wave structure would be more bullish and uh, we could go 
go we could go at that point you know so it and it, you know and it's better to wait for this to make sure that it's settled on here nicely you know i mean the markets are in a general move up but we're viewing that as a corrective rally so anyway we're seeing the banks move up we the banks will move faster we can see that the resources need to move up on the xmj um uh, and basically you know i mean they could be lithium stocks and other green metals for that as well uh rio here we're not going to do anything unless it sits on the hundred because we know that this is an abc we know that we could probably put a low in at this point here but i'm not getting any um in, I'm not getting any sort of nice impulse waves to the upside here, so nothing to go on here for the a longer term position um, on this uh, FMG. FMG can have a low in place, but once again, we couldn't go long unless we went above this above this top here. Otherwise, we could just be trapped in here. But there's too many options how this could be counted. I also know too that it doesn't want to move down. You know, it's just going sideways. This is this is a really good time to actually buy, really. But I don't have any signal to buy unless we take out that top there. Um, we need to buy a new high. So we've been getting lower highs. It's been moving down, but reluctantly moving down. It's not sort of crashing down. It doesn't want to move down. Um, but we don't have a clear buy signal and this this structure can be counted in a couple of different ways so i mean technically as an a wave here and a b wave here the c wave you know should come down and take out that low there and it may do that but um yeah i don't i don't know i mean i could put the low in here as well for this so not i don't know okay so over to the lithium stock so this is the um uh etf here so obviously it's got a bundle of um uh, lithium stocks in there it hasn't taken out the low here as an a wave you could also put the a wave here it doesn't really matter at this point but uh we expect it to make a new low here once again doesn't have to i had a look at this on a 10 tick chart it does look like it's one and two here then one two three four five the 38.2 percent retracement levels back at the 70 so i think that we can see lithium stocks rise rally while the US dollar is pulling back down and stocks in general are moving up, but I do think it is just a corrective rally. So it's okay for the short term, but not for the long, not confirmed for the long term yet. We would need this low in, and then we'll need an impulse wave to come in here for this EFT. Now, each stock is uh, completely different in this game, and we can have a quick look at that in terms of the lithium stocks. We've been looking at some US ones, SQM is ones that we sort of start with uh, here we've watched it pull all the way down it's uh, got a bit of a rally at the moment uh, here I'm thinking this is five waves here with one two here and one two three four five here so a fourth wave here and a fifth wave down but it's a little bit sort of haunting because this move uh, that looks like it's in five waves and then an A and a B and a C here so I do wonder if we've got an A wave a B wave and a C wave here but I think if you wanted to buy this stock anywhere down here around the 80 would be uh, okay but I just wouldn't overdo it at this point you know um, ALB is holding up a little bit uh, better but um, it's given you know I don't think this move here from here from this high as one two and one two one two in here is actually finished here I think there's more to it here you can see that um, you can see that this move here has moved up but it's moved up on lower volume so that's divergent so it shouldn't be going too far uh, ACDC one of uh, one of our boys here, <laughs> our boys. Uh, uh, so yeah, I was thinking that we've got one, two, three, four, five here, then the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave up here for this, and then come down for the C wave. Look, I could be wrong. It's hard to look at some of these sometimes, but it does look like five waves down here, then the ABC back. So I expect it to go higher, but it can give us another leg to the downside uh, before going higher at that point. Um, we do have five waves off the low, so it, it's looking sort of okay at, the, or at, at that point. But um, yeah, I just don't think it's solid enough set up just yet. Um, but by all means, do what you need to do. Uh, we talked about this one uh, yesterday here as well. It's possible to have the ABC in down here for this wave two here. Um, yeah, uh, 
if it was going to continue to move up, which it is moving up on stronger volume, which is a good thing, obviously. We've got increasing volume to the upside. The range was a bit short on that amount of volume, so that's a bit of a signal. Um, but the uh, side to the upside here would be, so it can come to here and fail at that point. So the other point here, what we could do, um, because I don't have a consensus on lithium stocks as such, um, if this turns into five waves, it will be wave one and two here, won't it? So it will be one and two here, and then it'll be three, four, and five, and then it'll have an A and a B and a C and come back, and then it'll go. If it was going to be bullish, we would get it back over here based on five waves moving up here. Um, but as I mentioned before, I think it's sort of okay to buy at the dollar, but we'll just see how that um, that plays out. Now, uh, Line Town was also our um, sort of template in that looking at this as as one and two, well, basically five waves down here with an A and a B and a C. I can see that it's increased, I mean, it had increased volume here. Um, but the range was really small. I mean, it did gap, so I've got to give it that as well. But there would be selling going on in that volume there as well. So I still wonder if this is an A and a B and a C wave here. It looks like a third wave rather than a C wave because of the power of it. But at the same time, it will be wave one and two and three and four and five here. So I'll just see how it goes. The other point to this is that we'd be looking for a C wave to the downside. If it was going to move up here, then um, let me just go back here. Well, it'd be one, two, three, four, five here. I suppose it sort of pulled back a little bit close to our target area. Maybe we should have bought that under there and also gone long here, or maybe I mentioned it. Um, but the next step here, if if uh, if this is going to push up, it's going to be one, two, three, four four and five up here and then come back for the ABC. So then we can also look to get it over here based on those five waves, we can buy the pullback, but we don't have five waves yet. And this can pull back into this space here. So we do need to be a little bit careful about that. Uh, PLS here, um, the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. Now we're looking for the uh, the ABC and all of this here. So nothing really much to do here at this point. Still waiting for this to develop over here. But look, as I may have mentioned, buying anywhere below the four between four and uh, four and four fifty as not as a CFD as a stock would be fine. Uh, AKE here. Um, once again, we're looking down as one, two, three, four, five here. Then the ABC pattern here, and then coming down. So yeah. Look Looks sort of everything sort of looks okay. Would it run away on us? I mean, all I can say is that we've got one, two, three, four, five. It's pretty clean here, so that means we should have a correction and then down again. Um, and this would be the buying area here for this. Um, IGO was sort of doing its own thing here. Um, I'd have to say that's five waves in this. We we'll have to look at this as one and two in here and three, four, five. Any move above the top here would um, would be taking this higher. I mean, it's trend. It's one of the strongest stocks in in the market. So obviously, it's um, you know you'd want to just hold that. It's a, it's a holding stock, isn't it? You know, um, and uh, Min is also fantastic as well. It's not pulling back. This move here is in three waves, so it's corrective. So that means that, um, and that's five waves here now. So you could also go along above the top here pretty safely and get up to 80 um, here for this. So yeah, I just see IGO and MIN will just continue. Um, Q, QXR was this other one that we're just keeping a bit of an eye on. So when we started watching, this was just up into here, but we could see, you know, as I mentioned, um, got overlapping wave structures that's so going to be pull, pulling back. We'll just let it go for a little while um, because it's a bit of a news related uh, move, all of this with this new director from late coming into this, um, into this, but uh, yes, obviously very volatile. But one of the things I do like is this base here. If this is this, if this is this company's um, history here, then stocks that have that kind of baseline here, then you know they when they pop they've got this is the accumulation phase in here so then they pop to the upside they're volatile you know like a bitcoin thing you know can wipe you out so you need to um hodl uh hold on for dear life um and uh, see how you go so that's all of that i just want to have a look at um the two-year rates here, no real sort of movement on this here, still on track for that. And over to 
the um, gold market. So with US spot gold here, I can see, we're, first of all, we've got three waves up here. That's corrective. So we can put wave four here. Wave four can also go over here, as I mentioned before. We can view this as wave one down here. So we can look at wave two coming back to this position here and then going down. Uh, we can look at this in two ways. We could go one, two, three, four here and then down for five for one. Or we could go wave three here and put wave four here and go one, two, three, four, five and put this here. And then look at this as the A wave here, the B wave here and the C wave up here. In one way or another, this market has moved down. It's finding so it's not, it hasn't got the 1650, which is a medium level, as the resistance yet. So there, it, it, it's, um, it's probable that it can pop up to here somewhere. Okay, um, and that would also leave uh, Newcrest Mining. Newcrest Mining doesn't have to move on the basis of gold. It can move on the basis of the stock market as well, just what general stocks are doing. And we've been looking at this in two ways down here. We're looking at it as an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave up here for wave four, and then coming down. Or we could look at it over here as the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave for wave four. This here is looking a bit um, uh, corrective. So it looks, we'll see how that goes. <coughs> if it takes that top out there, then we can eliminate that wave three and use that wave three, and then look at this as the ABC. So if that, if it takes that top out there, the length of this here will be the length of this. It can go back up to uh, 20 here to the wave four of one lesser degree. The US dollar here, um, yesterday when we talked, we were talking about the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave down here for wave four. And um, we're looking down at wave one and two, and then one, two, three, four, five for one here. So we can put that wave uh, one here. We'll look for an ABC pattern here. So if that drops below here, then you can also go long on the dollar at that point. So uh, the Aussie dollar or the Euro, or the cable, or the loony, whatever, anything. So, um, yeah, it looks like an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here for that wave two. I mean, we could probably even put it in here. I'm not sure, any mini, mini, mo. I'll have to do some work on that, but I'll just put it in the middle there for the time being. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, I mean, the flip side to this, it can be an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave into the 50, 60% box here, and then make a move up from that point. So that's why taking that low out here and not not jumping the gun is a little bit important if that gets triggered then you can go long um in the aussie here so for the aussie here we're looking at the same as the s p as the a wave the b wave and up for the c wave here as one and two and three and four and five um, you may be long here already but you'll need to leave the stop under here for this um, you can also add to this position. I should just put that in here because this is where we were looking yesterday. And we can put this up here. And uh, yeah, that should be in play. The worst case scenario here would be that this comes down into the 61.8% and then moves up. Otherwise, it can just keep, um, or otherwise, it will just climb up a little bit higher here and then come back and then move up here. So the takeaway here really is to. Um, this market is moving in line with the S&P 500. The S&P 500 um, and the other markets are heading to the upside. So it should be a pretty safe trade. You just don't want to get stopped out at the 61.8% here. Uh, we are a commodity dollar, of course. The commodities um, are not moving up, but the fact that the US dollar is moving down and the stocks are moving up, it should take the even the material stocks because when we looked at the XMJ, um, we can see that it at least needs to move up um, XMJ here, it, even though it's pulled back deeper here, it still needs to push up here. We've only got three waves here, you know. I mean, at minimum, it would give us one, two, three, four, five up to here, um, and then it, then it could drop at that point, or it could just keep going. So uh, based on this move here, we should see a B wave over here. We should see that come back up to that top there or take that out. So that should keep, the, keep that dollar higher already. I'm going to call it a day at this point. So thanks for tuning in. Cheers.